What is up designers, Nikos here and welcome to my video tutorial. Today's video is not going to be uh, the usual uh, Photoshop tutorials. Instead, I'm going to make a sort of a review slash demonstration of a website that I, that is one of my favorites uh, that is uh, that I highly value and use it almost on a daily basis. Uh, it's called chroma.co. Um, you can find the, uh, the link in the description. And what it is, is basically a, you know, a very, very important part of design as well as uh, programming you know uh you know if, if if you're a program for websites that also is going to be a very helpful tool for you as well uh now what it does is it basically understands it has an a artificial intelligence that understands your favorite colors and puts colors together for you that go well together as well as much match your uh, taste so i mean this is an amazing website and you know coming from a person who's never done any formal training in um, you know uh, color theory or color combinations this is a very valuable tool to have so it has helped me a lot in my designs and um, yeah I highly recommend you use this tool and you try it out now we're gonna get straight into making um, you know starting up so what it basically the first step is you click the personalize button here the the website is just you know really really done with taste and it's it's just amazing so the first thing you want to do is you you have to pick 50 colors that that are appealing to you so um, once you've done that you then click generate and it's going to understand and combine these colors and you know afterwards it's going to know what to show you so i'm going to just click on 50 colors that are li are, i like and then um you know i'll get back to you guys and once you're done picking picking the colors uh you just simply press start training you're going to start uh, the engine of the artificial intelligence which is basically going to calculate uh, you know what colors to give you now uh, at this point I want to mention that this website is um, actually it's in beta stage uh, and it's really just optimized for Chrome and Safari so if you're using Firefox um, it might not work for you uh, so I recommend you use either Chrome or Safari because I did um, use it on my Firefox and it got stuck uh, at some point so um, you know if it's not working out for you it's not you it's uh, because of the browser so switch the browser and uh, you know it's gonna go smooth so once the website is done generating your colors this is the page that you're gonna land to uh, no the website is just really clean really simplistic and uh, minimalist and I really enjoy just you know uh, browsing through it and um, one of the things that this has is that it has a couple of tricks up its sleeve so even though it looks very simple it does have some functionalities that you might find it even more even more um you know valuable and and that may contribute to your um experience or choosing of colors even more so uh we're gonna basically cover um everything that um that you need to know so we we'll start from the first one uh, now here are some tabs uh, there's type there's poster gradient image and palette as well as favorites now we're going to start from the type type is basically what you see here it gives you two color uh, two colors that are combined with each other <clears throat> within in the sense of a background as well as type so once you scroll down by the way if you scroll down it's never gonna end uh there's basically infinite amount of generations of colors so you know you can keep scrolling until you come across something interesting so for example let's pick a color let's pick this fun blue and rock blue so it has it's you know it's names that kind of um you know i don't know if they, these are official names but they kind of give you a sense of what the colors are so um uh, yeah so once you're satisfied with what you see um each box has three options to do so you can swap colors right you can swap colors and see how how the reverse um is like okay and you can favorite it so that in in the future you can go back to your favorites and find this color again because you know if you miss out on a color you're quite unlikely to find it again unless you write it write down the hex codes or something but um what we want to do is like 
you want to go to details, right? If you want to, if you want to find the color hex code, for example. So if you're a designer like me, um, what, all you can, all you do is basically just click on the hex code and it says copy to clipboard. So you don't ha even have to copy it yourself. And once you click that, you, you know, if you want to go ahead and go to your Photoshop, create a, I'm just going to create a new layer and, you know, um, put my hex code in here, control V and then alt backspace. And, you know, I already have a color. So that's the fun blue. And then I'm just going to click the second color, right? I'm going to make a text. And uh, for the text, I'm going to choose the second color and write, write my text here. Okay. And there we go. We basically did, um, we, we copied the color combination, as you can see here, it's exactly the same. So that's how you do it. Um, it's a very, very useful tool. I use it all the time. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it for for the colors now let's move on to the poster poster is very similar uh to the previous tab instead but instead of you know having type it has just two color combinations okay now um you know as you can as you can see here we have bias now what that means is um is basically uh you give the artificial uh intelligence of the website some leeway so to speak to to choose a color for you, right? So if you, uh, you know, if you give it a 99, uh, these are percentages, by the way, it's gonna give you um, basically, uh, it's gonna be more, the colors that it's going to choose are going to be more the according to your taste, okay? So uh, if you click here, bias is up to 100% here, right? So that means that it thinks it's basically biased on your your colors uh, that you're gonna like. So it thinks that way. However, I personally recommend um, to have it low because the lower you have, the more likely that you're gonna encounter interesting colors that uh, you are likely, you know, um, it's not in your taste. However, Im you might not know that you like them before. So for instance, this color combination is really interesting and it wouldn't be there, you know, if the bias was high. So um, not so much to know about this function, but generally keep it low or like 50% is fine. You know, uh, not a big deal. Again, there's a ton of colors here, so you won't get bored of uh, finding it. Next tab is gradient. Now gradient is super cool. As you can see, it's really, really clean. There's, you know, no text, just colors. So um, basically this, what this is, is um, a gradient, uh, two colors that are m mashed together. Okay, so if we wanted to, you know, create a gradient, this is how we would do it. You know, if you're in Photoshop, for example, you can just, you know, go to details, copy the hex code and, you know, create the gradient. Um, now this uh, function is also great um, because you, you have also here a button that says copy CSS. Now um, CSS is a, a language for, uh, for building websites, um, especially the visual part. So you can simply click the, um, this button and it copies the code here, for example. Um, uh, so that's very useful for programmers out there. And the next tab is the image tab. So this is really cool when you are working on a poster or, or, or you know, your, um, your profile picture or, you know, you're making an album cover or something really cool and you, you're using a photograph and you want to match some colors in it. Now, um, you have also, you know, the functionality to copy the code here, swap colors. Um, mm, seems like it doesn't work. Okay. Not everything functions. It's still is beta. Uh, but, um, yeah, you can favor it and, and, you know, have details here. So just to demonstrate what I, what I mean here is I'm just going to choose, um, a photograph and drag it in here and just enlarge it so that it fits. Okay. So the way you can, you know, meaning the way you can use this. Uh, so next you can use your gradient map, all right? And then by clicking this uh, tab here, you can start choosing the colors that are here. So 
you know, for example, if we think, um, let's just pick a random one. This one looks interesting. Um, so we go to details and then copy the hex code. Okay. And then paste it in here and then do the, do the same for the other one. Uh, with the second color. Okay. Press okay. And, um, as you can see, it's not exactly the same, but if you press reverse, it's what you're going to get. So basically that's how you can use these colors. However, um, you know, if you, if you don't want to go through, like if you, if you want to try out, um, many different versions on your picture, you can actually go to settings and choose your own file. Um, and, uh, you know, instead of this girl, uh, photograph, it's going to show your file here. Now keep in mind that the file needs to be under one megabyte. So, um, yeah, so, so keep that in mind, uh, when, when you're, um, uploading a photograph, I'm just gonna find a photograph just to demonstrate. Let's go here, pick this photograph. And when you're done, you know, just refresh the page and go back to image. And there you have it. It's the photograph that you uploaded. It's, it's so incredible. You can just upload your photograph and see all these kind of filters applied to it. And, you know, you don't have to go through like, the, you know, copying the hex code each time and then, you know, seeing which one fits, but you, you have it here on the website all in one. So it's really perfect for choosing. Um, you know, I mean, these are just great, you know, these are all great. So yeah, that's, that's how you do it. Now, if you, if you don't want to, keep your photograph or you want to change it, go ahead. And, th and then you can just s reset to default and it's going to go back to the, um, the girl photograph. Okay. So that's, that's about it. Now we'll let, uh, for, for the image tab, let's go to the palette tab here. Now the palette tab is, uh, what it says. It's uh, basically a color palette. And, um, yeah, if you're working on a project and you need, you know, four colors or something, you go to here and, you know, pick some color combinations that are, that work well together. And yeah, just click the details and, um, just copy the codes. So that's basically it. Not so much to say about that. Um, the next tab is favorites. However, if to go to favorites, you have to have favorites. So basically, you know, if you like the colors, just collect them because they're hard to find otherwise. So I'm just going to click around, get some few favorite colors. And then when you go to your favorites tab, it's going to uh, show up here. Just be careful when clicking here, because if you unfavorite this, you are really unlikely to find it again. So just keep that in mind. Now, remember I mentioned some tricks. The uh, search bar is basically there for a reason. And here's what you can do. Like you can, for example, you, if you want dark colors, you can just type in dark. Okay. And it's going to give you dark colors. Uh, it's that simple. If you want, you know, warm hue, you know, just type this in. You have a list of them here, for example, you know, purple, type in purple. It's going to give you purple. So you have type, you have hue also. Another cool thing about this is that you can actually search colors with your hex code. So let's say you have, um, you know, your client tells you that I want you to create a background with this color specifically, but then you just put whatever color for the text you decided for your text. So what you do is you put this color with the hex code with the hashtag, and then you click enter, and then you're going to, you're going to get this, you know, kind of yellowish orange color as the background and then different colors for the text itself. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial slash review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did leave a like and subscribe to my channel because I release interesting uh, videos about design every now and then. And yeah, that's about it. See you guys in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to NGFX for more great content. We hope to see you in the next one.